Hello there. I'm going to talk about my um, internet connected gate opener. Um, I've asked myself, then, why would I need such a device? But it's convenient. Sometimes uh, I keep the doors, the key, uh, the keys, the, the remote control for the gate opener in the car. And if someone rings me, I have to go to the car to, to get the remote control. And it's more convenient just to have that function on my phone instead. Also, sometimes um, I find it useful if someone rings on the door, like some sort of delivery. Instead of um, searching for that remote control, I just take out my phone and uh, open the gate. Um, of course, that also that's valid for uh, utility metering. For example, um, if someone needs to read uh, the water consumption or electricity consumption, I need to let them in, inside the, uh, the yard. So basically, um, this is my motivation. Um, I was thinking of uh, maybe at winter time if it snows heavily, and uh, sometimes we can get up to half a meter of snow. Um, and since my door is a sliding door, I need to clean it up occasionally from time to time so that um, it doesn't clog up with snow. So just by sitting in my couch and hitting some buttons on my phone, I could do that. I could just open and close it a few times in the evening and just clean up uh, the snow. So that's, that's silly motive as it is, but um, let me know what your motivation would be to have this door connected to the internet. So. Without further ado, let's take a look at the PCB. Uh, this is the PCB for the garage door opener. Um, so we have a switching regulator that can take AC or DC up to 20, 36 volts. Um, an ESP8266, which is the brains. Um, there is a magnetic uh, switch connector so that detects the, the door opening and closing actually so it can tell if it's open or closed it has also some smart schematics in place that it can detect if, if um, it's unplugged for some reason so uh, it, it, uh, it knows if it's unplugged or open or closed it's a tri-state <clears throat> um, I have a, a radio module 433 MHz um, that acts as a backup in case um, um, there is no internet connection so you can use uh, my uh, remote control uh, to, to open that um, the, door, the, the door so just an old-fashioned remote control and it's, uh, it's pretty secure because we use session keys encryption etc um, in addition, you could use uh, my other TFT um, display project to uh, control the door. So that's another alternative. It also has a 433 MHz, so it works uh, both ways, either through um, the internet or a radio. So that can also be used. And of course, this is unplugged now, so it's not going to work. <clears throat> And this is the motor itself. Of course, I've removed the cover so that it's visible, the connection is visible. And what I've done is actually I've connected, tapped into this through this cable, it's an Ethernet cable, and it's good for the isolation of electromagnetic. In interference because the engine actually the motor uh, generates a huge electromagnetic impulse when it starts due to this startup capacitor as well <coughs> so that that gives me some sort of isolation and the unit itself the relay module is, is here it's um, also a bit further from <coughs> the motor um, what I have here is also 24 volts AC and um, I power the unit from there, from this 24 AC. 
Okay, so that's it. And the unit is just here. You can see it. <clears throat> and that whole thing goes under a cover. So let's protect it from the weather. Just like that. 